so we're doing spirograph today and for making these spirographs we're going to need a scale a compass a good pencil i'm using a sketch pen here a little pencil and sometimes we're also going to use the protractor <clears throat> So, the basic thing which we draw to create a spirograph is a circle. So, I'm starting with a 3 cm circle first. So, 3 cm is the radius. And I'm drawing a circle over here. Okay. And next step is, let me just change the sketch pen, it's very thick. So the next step is, we're going to keep the radius same as 3 centimeters and we're going to mark some point on the circle anywhere on the circle we're going to take another center and draw a arc and draw a arch inside this now we get two intersections over here and we're going to draw our next arch starting from these two intersections and we're going to just continue doing this until we get our six petal flower so this is a very basic um, spirogram which we might have drawn in school number of times so this is a six petal spirograph the next is we're going to modify this and now where do we have space here I am going to draw a circle of 5 centimeter now so now this is a 5 centimeter circle And now inside this, I'm going to draw a one point five centimeter circle. And I'm just going to put a mark on three point five because I'm going to need that later on. So I'm drawing a center for. So now this is a circle for 1.5 centimeter. Next is I'm again going to keep the radius 5 centimeters and I'm going to draw my six petal flower over this but it is not going to touch the center point So the only trick to make this perfect is 
never disturb the radius and mark your points properly if they're even slightly see so I have made a mistake somewhere so I'm not able to get it at the center so in this case I'm going to increase the radius a bit and I'm going to complete this petal anyhow and this one is remaining so this is the center and done so now you can see because of that slight mistake there's a lot of gap in between these two petals which is going to create some trouble in my further design all right anyways so moving forward i marked a point at 3.5 centimeter so i'm taking a radius now for 3.5 centimeter and i'm drawing this circle but i'm not going to overlap the petals So this is a kind of second spirograph which you can fill with different motives and colors. We can even further modify it. What I'm doing is I'm keeping my center at the petal, any of the petal and I'm marking an approximate center on this arch, on the three point centimeter arch. Just to check if it is in center or not, I'll place it on the adjacent petal and I'll just see if my center is coming no it is not in the center okay so now I'm going to draw a arch inside this and I'm going to repeat this by keeping my compass as a center on each petal and because of my mistake i have to readjust the center on this side okay so this design is complete for me what you can do is if you used a pencil for making this you can erase this line and get a small flower rangoli kind of spirograph okay now we're going to modify this even more and now this time i'm going to draw a circle of six centimeter so just marking my i think i'm going to draw only one on this complete page now so this is 12 centimeter diameter this time i'm going to start with my pencil and give it a rough outline which we're going to erase later on so here goes the circle six centimeter diameter six centimeter diameter are we able to see it properly yes okay so next is again I'm not going to disturb the diameter here and so this is six centimeter and I'm going to draw a six petal flower on this
and done. So next is what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a circle like we draw in this one on 3.5 centimeter but I'm going to mark my points first where's my pencil so I'm putting a mark at 3 centimeter first and then 4.5 5 centimeter so first I'm going with my 3 centimeter and I'm giving it a marking my arches in between the petals Okay, so now taking these intersections as my new centers, these points, I am going to mark my next arch. I'm not disturbing the radius, it is 3 cm as of now. And I'm coming up to the pencil mark, pencil circle, same way from the other side. And we get a little dome on top of this so if you are doing this with pencil you can actually make a proper cross and then later on you can erase that the same way I'm going to make these domes on each and every petal So giving my center on this point and marking a point on the adjacent petal, I'm going to draw this. Okay, so likewise I'm going to finish this complete design. So I'm just trying to keep my um, compass little slanting so that it will be visible properly in the video. And done. So same way if you want a bigger petal, you can plant your center on this point and radius on this petal. And let's go ahead and make a bigger petal like this. Oh, what went wrong? Okay, some mistake in my previous calculations. See, this is how it is going to come out. There's some mistake. There's some slight mistake in taking the measurements over here. And that's why I'm not able to draw the bigger petal. And let's try for this one. Happening. I don't know why it did not work for this part. <clears throat> Anyways, so I'm changing my design. And I'm going to erase this part. I have a eraser for ink.
anyways i'll do that later so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to erase the pencil mark here so just ignore this and that this could be your next mandala pyrograph mandala you can finish the petals and make a bigger one and keep on going over the petals what happened all right so now there is one more design so again i'm taking a 6 cm radius Okay, so, so again I'm using my pencil first for making the outer circle. And now I'm going to place some dots. So here I'm starting with my two centimeter circle first. Let's see. So I'm going to draw a two centimeter radius circle inside this. And I'm not disturbing the radius and I'm placing my center anywhere on this circle now and I'm going to draw a half circle outside this and I'm going to go on making more circles with the intersections which I'm going to get And again, a little fault over here. Anyways, so do this with a lot of precision when you make it. Alright, so this is an outer flower which we just created. And now I'm going to place my center. What I'm doing here is I'm marking the ruler which is connecting the center point and this intersection and I'm going to drag it and place my center on the outer circle. Again going back to 6 cm radius. I am going to draw my six petal flower one more time but on top of each of these petals or the domes whatever you call it So why I mark the center so that we can get the petal exactly at the center of this curve.
and done. Now next is, again what you can do is you can create big petals by keeping your center over here, taking the radius same and drawing a big arch for the petals or what we can do is we can keep our centers over here and taking the radius like this. So this is the center. And this is the radius and I'm making small arches so making spirograph basically is just having fun with the compass go ahead and create your own designs and then fill them with beautiful colors and motives uh, that we learned in our mandala classes And it just goes on like this. Mm -hmm. So you're free to choose um, the size of circles and different type of patterns. Spirograph is just not limited to all these three, four designs. And there is one more popular uh, spirograph which we used to create and uh, okay so this is done and what we're going to do is we're going to erase the outer circle done yeah okay so I have some more space left over here so I'm going to do one more spirograph which is really fun to make and uh, I just need to mark my center and uh, this is how much 15 centimeter okay so and 15 centimeters so I'm going to take a circle of uh, 5 centimeter a five centimeter diameter um, a little bit more space over here so let's make it a four centimeter yes a four centimeter circle <clears throat> So this is a little confusing but once you practice I'm sure you'll be able to do it so this is a circle of four centimeter radius and we're just going to draw lots and lots of flowers on this but let me start from this point only take center anywhere on the circle and keep on making more circles now this is did I move it? Yeah. So next is take this intersection as your center and draw another circle. Keep on repeating this. You're going to draw six circles over here. This is so much fun. <laughs> I remember I used to do this a lot when I was in school. <laughs> I never thought I'll be teaching this. 
So this is again a spiral graph and you can modify it. Modify it as in now I'm going to place another center. So I'm taking my first point as the center of the circle and this intersection and placing my center in the center of this line. So now again the radius is fixed. It is it. 4 cm and I'm going to draw more circles here. So this is going to get a little confusing when you make these circles because they all are black in color and they all look good and same size. Oops. So just be very calm and do this with a lot of concentration and I'm sure you're not going to mess up. Just this point. Okay, so now this is the next point. And done. How do you know this is done? When you have a complete little tiny flower with all complete petals, that means this is done. So if you want to make it more intricate, you can again take center, this intersection and this intersection and this intersection and place a dot in the center over here and you can go on making more intricate design. So I used uh, my pen for creating the circle but if you are working with a pencil just go ahead and erase the circle. It won't look good in your design. I think I have a final piece somewhere over here in my, on my table. Just minute, let me just check. I can show you the final product or I'll share an image of this. Anyways. Okay, so these are uh, some spirographs, basic spirographs. Uh, just try to create them and also try to create some of your designs using your wonderful, beautiful instrument called as a compass. Okay, thank you so much.